What is up to all our sidekicks and henchmen out there in the Geek Nation? My name is Noel, and today we're going to do a couple of Thunder Rounds. What's a Thunder Round? A Thunder Round is a 60-second review where we talk about one comic that came out this week. I will do my best to keep it to 60 seconds, a spoiler-free 60 seconds, um, but I'm not a very efficient human being, so it'll go long. Today we're going to talk about two highly anticipated independent books that come out this week. Uh, the first being Berserker by uh, Boom Studios by Matt Kent, Keanu Reeves, and Ron Garney, and the second one being Noctera Number 1 by Scott Snyder and Tony S. Daniel by Image Comics. Before I get into those though, I want to ask you, implore you, request to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you get alerted when we do uh, when we uh, post new content or go live. Speaking of going live, every Sunday morning at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, our live stream podcast where we talk about this past week's comments, do a couple of reviews, pop culture news, just enjoy each other's company, um, and you could join us for that. So, let's talk about Berserker. Uh, Berserker number one, written by Matt Kent uh, and Keanu Reeves. Uh, I presume Matt Kent and Keanu Reeves broke story together and then Matt Kent went and wrote it. Uh, without by art by Ron Garney. Uh, Ron Garney's the second artist on this title. I think the original announced artist, I forgot his name, um, but they switched gears and then it, uh, the book took longer to come out. Um, but you know, I might as well get into it. What did I think of this book? And here we go. So Berserker number one, it is, um, it's very much the kind of issue, the kind of comic book issue that's a cold open. Right, and what I mean by that, it's like the opening, uh, the, the scene that happens before the opening credits of a larger story. Um, you essentially just see this mysterious character who appears to be completely unkillable go berserker mode through uh, a building of, of, uh, of soldiers and then through the streets and then off a building and then through a, a airport and blah, blah, blah. And then you get, after all of that, maximum carnage and lots of violence um very minimal dialogue it's actually just third person dialogue that's happening on the outset kind of like overlaying scenes uh you get a little bit a little bit of as to why and or how the origin of this character appears and then it cuts off then it's time for issue two so um the art is very kinetic it's really well done ron garney i d i haven't read any ron garney in a really long time ow I haven't seen Ron Garney pencils in a long time, especially just new ones, uh, fill-in issues here and there, but it's really, it's really good Ron Garney. I don't remember Ron Garney being this v violent. Uh, uh, it's very, the book is very gooey. This would be a hard R movie. Um, and I don't know, will it be a movie? Who knows? It feels as though it's tailor-made to be something else, whether it's a TV show or a movie or something. But it's still an enjoyable read, so it doesn't feel like <sighs> everything on paper makes it seem like it's a cash grab for other media. But the care put into it doesn't indicate that it's only a cash grab. It still reads pretty well as a um, just a uh, no holds bar comic. Um, so you might enjoy it. I would say give this a shot. I feel like it's crazy popular before it even was released so there's going to be a lot of people sampling this book let me know what you guys think and the second book we're going to talk about today is noctera number one by scott's written by scott snyder with art by tony s daniel this also went through a kickstarter but they did something different where the 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 thing you got out of the kickstarter was actually a large actually it's right up there a large oversized hardcover that has the uncolored pencils of the first issue and the script of the first issue with no dialogue boxes. So it's almost like a, a DVD extra or process book more than it is just like here you get the first issue and hardcover, yay. Noctera is about um, the sun goes away one day, nothing but darkness. Uh, and then they learn that if somebody's in the darkness for more than 10 minutes, 10 hours, sorry. If someone's in the darkness for more than 10 hours, they start to transform into the things. And those the things um, like to may murder and eat humans. So it's definitely a sci-fi horror book, um, maxi in a way. But, uh, but let's just talk about it. And go.
So I feel like the story of this book really is the art for me. Um, I am not historically a fan of Tony S. Daniel. It's um, very thin lines, very pencil-y, very scratchy sometimes, especially when he's been on the Batman books. I've not enjoyed it at all. This felt like a different artist, especially for the first half of the book. Um, maybe the coloring is different, maybe the inking is different, but it felt a lot more fleshed out and less um, 90s comic. <laughs> I guess, than Tony asked Daniel before. The story itself is pretty fun. Scott Snyder has a way of sometimes over, over writing dialogue. People sometimes inorganically sound like they're just hitting exposition, especially in his first issues. Like the first issue of Undiscovered Country didn't sit well very with, sit very well with me, but I'm still reading it and it just, it started to, to really blossom and was great. But here he's pretty minimalist and it's other than the opening kind of text boxes, it's, the story itself is pretty interesting. It just it flows really well. They immediately set hurts every time. They immediately set up the stakes in a really really fun way. Um, I'm definitely gonna give this first arc a shot. Um, I had I didn't have low expectations. I just it was a uh, a writer who sometimes frustrates me, and I usually wait to to hear word of mouth for, and an artist that I don't hate but typically don't enjoy their work and then together they were like, yeah, we're gonna do a book. <laughs> okay. Um, but the end product is, is uh, s fascinating. It's actually pretty good. I, I, would, I would highly recommend giving this first issue a shot. That's Noctera number one by Scott Snyder and Tony S. Daniel. So those are my thunder rounds. Um, be sure to let me know what you think in the comments down below. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you're alerted when we go live and or just post new content. Speaking of going live, one more reminder, Sunday mornings, 10.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, we go live and, uh, and stream our Cult Pop podcast. That's where we talk about the past week's comments, do reviews, and just kind of kick it around, shoot the poop, talk, hang out with each other. So please join us for that. It's, it's always more fun when, when there's people that just kind of chime in and uh, disagree or agree or whatever. But, uh, but yeah, that's been it. Um, be sure to visit your local comic shop or give these books a shot. That's Berserker number one, Noctera number one. Both were worth it. They um, they were pretty solid. Uh, it'd be interesting to see where they go from here. Uh, but that's all I got. Thank you so much for spending the last couple of minutes with me, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Cold pop. <laughs>